Hey guys, this is John with Resurrected Outdoors. All kinds of projects that need to be done today. But I just wanted to take a few minutes and share with you. I'm out here in the side yard and I was getting our uh, this year's crop of Jerusalem artichoke dug up. And it uh, did pretty good. Uh, not as good as I had hoped, uh, but I didn't get the opportunity to get a whole lot in the ground. Uh, we had a storm come through, a uh, high wind storm came through, knocked a bunch of them down and, and they just never really bulbed out. If you're not real familiar with what a Jerusalem artichoke is, uh, you could get all kinds of information online. But basically, in any recipe that you do, you would use a potato, you can use a Jerusalem artichoke. It, it's the same consistency, the same texture, almost the same flavor. And if you're diabetic like me, it doesn't have the same sugars and starches in it, so your body will metabolize it differently. And so it's a good, healthy option. So I cleaned a bunch of the bulbs out and uh, bagged them and put them up to dry in the greenhouse and, and when they're dry I'll go ahead and I'll put them down into the basement in a paper bag save those for next year uh, to get next year's crop going but I'm out here and I notice the squirrels are cutting nuts and so deer season starts here soon in Ohio and what we're gonna do is I'd really like to just take a minute and show you how to make your own acorn cover scent for deer season so what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect some acorns off the ground we're gonna go inside I'm going to show you what you need. Basically, I got about three, four cups of acorns. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash them off, uh, getting grass and stuff like that off of them. You, you really don't need to, but when it comes time to put it in the spray bottle, it just helps keep that clean, keep it from getting clogged up. We need some distilled water and a spray bottle. So here in a minute, we'll be inside. We're going to get going. Thanks. All right, so I've washed off our acorns, and the reason I did that is so that there's just a little less grass and or dirt that I have to clean up out of this later so that when we put it in the spray bottle uh, just a little less likely than it's going to get clogged up. I've got about a gallon of distilled water heating up that's going to come to a boil here soon and we've got three and a half four cups of acorns that we picked up out of the yard and what we're going to do is go ahead and place those acorns into the water and let them boil for a few minutes until the water actually picks up a acorn odor and it will stain dark brown. Okay, so the acorns have been at a full boil now for about five minutes. We're going to go ahead and turn that heat off, let them cool down. We're going to take out, strain out the acorns, and we'll go on to the next step here in a minute. All right, guys let's go ahead and recap what we did we collected about three and a half to four cups of acorns you used just shy of a gallon of distilled water we, we brought the water to a boil we allowed the acorns to boil in there until it really started to get a strong acorn smell to it the water also as you can see it turned a dark brown uh, with a reddish hint to it and what I've got here is we let that cool down we placed it in a spray bottle and I've got my hunting bag that I store all my hunting clothes in and we're gonna go ahead and spray this inside and out and then when we're done I'm just gonna go ahead and take this hang this outside 
let it dry, I'm going to take all my hunting clothes uh, that I'm going to be using on, on my next particular trip and I'm going to pack the, spray them as well. I'm going to pack them inside there once they're dried and I'm going to store this in my greenhouse behind me. And uh, my small greenhouse here, I, I really don't keep any chemicals in it, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Basically, the only thing that's in there is seeds for the next season and uh, some potting soil, some things like that. So um, give this a try, guys, and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.